I'm Rabbi Ellen Trebowasser. I've been asked to talk about why Jews eat blintzes at Shavuot, our spring holiday that commemorates receiving the Torah, the five books of Moses at Mount Sinai. The real answer is that nobody knows, but there are several good stories. One reason may be the line from the book of Exodus that promises the Israelites a land flowing with milk and honey. Another reason is that after they received the Torah, the people were as pure as newborns and babies drink milk. And the mountains where the Torah was received were many peaks, gavnunim, a word that is similar to the Hebrew word gavina, which means cheese. Festivals celebrating spring are common in many cultures and often feature dairy dishes because cheese was made in the spring. And think about it. Rolled up pancakes with delicious fillings exist all over the world. India has dosas, China has rice pancakes, and in Europe, they have existed since ancient Greece and Rome. So whether you call them crepes, pierogies, blini, or blintzes, pate avon, enjoy them. For the filling of the cheese blintzes, I'm going to mix together a, this package of farmer cheese, which is seven and a half ounces, half of this cream cheese, so that would be four ounces, zest of this lemon and a little bit of lemon juice and almond extract, although you could use vanilla, it'd be very tasty, and a couple of tablespoons of sugar and a pinch of salt. So this is the cheeses mixed together with the sugar and the extract and the lemon. Now I'm taking the beaten egg whites, putting those in, and I'm gonna gently fold them in together. To make the wrappers for the blintzes, we're going to use three eggs, a cup of milk, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of oil, and three quarters of a cup of flour. Now we're gonna make the crepes, the pancakes that are the filling that the filling goes into. So we take a hot pan, put butter in it, and then you take your batter, which should be quite thin. If it's not thin enough, add a little milk. Make sure it's nice and hot, and you pour the batter in, and you tilt the pan around so that it covers the bottom of the pan. If you have a real crepe pan, that would be even better, but this works. And you're just gonna cook it on one side. So you wait till the one side gets a little brown and then you dump it out. And my mother always dumped it out onto uh, clean dish towels. So that's what I do. And I'm gonna fill these with cheese, but you can also fill them with uh, fruit filling and I have had good luck with buying canned pie fillings because they're thicker than just using jam. Dump it out, a little more butter, and we're ready for the next one. Now I'll show you how to pull, put the filling into it. This is the cheese filling. And take a bit of it, put it to the one side, fold that side over, pat it down, fill, fold both sides in and this side up. And you wanna make it so that the seam is on the bottom. Here's another one. Take a couple of tablespoons of filling. Fold it over. Fold each side in. And fold it once more so that the seam is on the bottom. Yeah, now the reason you put the seam side down is that after you've got all of your crepes made and all of the blintz is stuffed, you go back to the frying pan and you're going to brown them. You're going to cook them again 
if you put the seam sides down in the pan, that will ensure that it gets sealed and your filling doesn't leak out all over the place. So you're gonna cook these so they don't burn. You want them to be a little browned and you want the filling to get cooked because there is egg in the filling and that will make the filling more solid if the egg gets to cook. Let's see, they get nice and browned and the filling gets cooked through. And then you cook them on the other side. If you don't want to fry them, you can bake them, but to me, they taste better fried. Oops, this one opened up a little fillings leaking out. That's how you know they're homemade. And when it's time to serve them, you can serve them with sour cream or applesauce or just eat them plain. They're good hot, they're good warm, they're good cold for breakfast. And these are traditionally served at the Jewish holiday of Shavuot, which is a springtime holiday that celebrates the receiving of the Torah on Mount Sinai. In my family, we also serve them for the breaking of the fast on Yom Kippur in the fall. I hope you have a good time.